Bruce from Safari, we're going to do a bit more of a detailed walkthrough on the back of this uh, tremor. And uh, the walkthrough is because this could be the back of a Silverado, an F truck, a Dodge Ram. Anything with a tonneau cover coming in, this has got the RSI canopy on it, but it's just clamped in that you can see there. And uh, the concept we've got here would apply to all of those. And so we're going to look at the power box at the back in a minute, but at the back here, uh, is our control interface and so just to recap on this this is our actual power in so if you're at a powered site and you want to charge these batteries so that they'll charge at 1.7 kilowatts I mean super super fast uh, then we've got the display here we've got our power outlet here now that's a double pole 10 amp but that can go out to the caravan to run 2.4 kilowatts coming out of it we can put a 15 amp there as well so inside here is all 240 and the HDMI from the display. So there's no low voltage in there, fully uh, compliant. And then let's have a look on this side. Now what we've got on this side is all 12 volt. And the compressor, you can see the compressor outlet here, and that operates the compressor. You hear it running there, a bit of a shake. Uh, 12 volt outlet here, uh, and an Anderson plug coming out to go to the fridge. So this box on this side is totally 12 volt. This switch here switches the lights from amber to white. You select what you want, and then we've got the auto switches on the uh, gas struts here. So that's the, um, I call these saddle bags or side storage lockers that you can see here. So 12 volt, 240 volt, plus the display in here. Now let's have a look at the box at the top. Uh, and then what we've got in this uh, storage box back here, and you can see the rubber seal around here, rubber lid, it's a Pelican case, is that we've got the inverter charger here, three kilowatts. We've got uh, two batteries here. This is all 48, of course, and these are 400 amp hours. We've got a slightly taller box that will come up that will actually take four of these, and these fit absolutely perfectly in there. There's a master on off switch at the back there that will totally isolate everything in the whole truck. So it'll isolate the 48, it turns off the Scotty product as, for, as well. And the Scotty product charges this from the 12 volt alternator. Um, then we've got the hub back there, I'm just gonna zoom in, that's the Victron hub, and that cord coiled up there is the HDMI extension so that we can run to the back. And then back there we've got a solar controller there, quite a big one, um, and the, this truck on top has got uh, two lots of uh, solar on it. This customer has put a small side fridge here that he can access through the side window there that we've got plumbed in. Uh, that could be moved over and a, and a larger fridge put in there if you wish. Um, Scotty popped in the front of this uh, lariat and let's have a look at the power that this produces. Just absolutely incredible. 3000, there we are. Having a look at the Selfie Go that we fitted here and this is really just to reinforce to people the installation process so we've we've put it in this 12 volt saddle bag here we do have the compressor in here as well here it is up here and the antenna for this we'll walk around and show you in a minute it's on the front but that little antenna up there on the window is very important that communicates with the phone and as we understand it just look where we are here now we've got a shocking uh, connection here coming in from Telstra that signal there um, is the connection to the phone internally and that's the overall boost now, the experience here is that you're lucky to get one bar here. We're now running at two. So it's given it a boost from one to two, um, as we understand it here. But look at this, it's flicking around. You know, we're lucky lucky to get even a signal here. And the top is holding up at two bars. The antenna that you see on the top there, the one on this side is for the cell phone, And the one on the other side is the GPS and 4G. And that allows us to give complete support for the power system and you can see here on the charts here we can actually even see the GPS location it's just um, uh, fantastic that we can give total support including uh, re-updating the firmware making any changes any adjustments seeing if the customer's got any issues watching as the batteries go low high tuning up the solar and we can pretty well do anything remotely uh, no matter where this customer is, anywhere in Australia. And that level of support is second to none for the customers. How there we are, 3,000. How good's that? Finally, the Zone RV is going. Not that uh, we don't like Zone RVs, we love them, but this has been uh, quite a big project here. And uh, you can see it's towed by this uh, uh, 
tremor here.